Hi, today I'm going to make a quick video featuring some of my favourite hair products and styling tools because so many people have asked me what I use and how I style my hair and what um, styling tools I use which is really flattering because I'm not that great at hair so um, I'm not a hairdresser by any stretch of the imagination. So um, yeah, so for shampoo I, I've i tried all different ones obviously over the years but I, time and time and again, I always come back to Kerastars. I use quite a few of their different ones. This is Age Richage, which is for vi hair vitality. But I also use, there's two other green ones, one for volumizing and one for oily roots with dry ends, which is really, really good as well. And I've tried using other shampoos and I've always ended up coming back to it. I know they're quite expensive, but they're very concentrated and they're my favorite. So um, that's what I use. I also use some of their um, conditioners. I use their masks. I haven't got one at the moment because I just ran out of it yesterday and threw the bottle out, which was um, the UV one, the one in the red pot. But all of their shampoos have masks that go with them and they have regular conditioners for use every day. So I normally always have the mask and the the um, conditioner as well. And some of their styling products, like their heat styling products, conditioning products are really good. These leave-in ones are particularly fantastic. The only other masks that I use is, I use this one which is by Percy and Reed and this is TLC for hair and um, I really like this moisturizing, hydrating mask. I really love Moroccan oil. This is nearly, well, almost running out now. I like to use a couple of drops of this. Sometimes I'll use a couple of drops before I go to bed when I'm gonna wash my hair the next morning. So I'll make it quite greasy, but it'll sort of condition it overnight. Or I will, after I've washed my hair, I'll put a couple of drops just through the ends. As I say, I've got very oily roots, so um, they I need to wash my hair every other day. And if I put too much conditioning stuff in or too much near my roots, then I have to wash my hair every day, so I don't like to do that. I like to do it every other day. So, but I, I do think that Moroccan oil is fantastic. The other thing that I do is when my hair's all dry and styled and ready, I will add some of my Phyto 7, which is one of my favorite kind of everyday just hair conditioners, just to run through the ends or to get rid of any frizziness because my hair can get quite frizzy. I'll use that and occasionally I'll put a little few drops of Moroccan oil in with it, mix them together. And then just, I don't go right onto the roots, but I'll go kind of from here down and just kind of work it through. Again, really small amount, just very rubbed into my hand so I'm not weighing my hair down. Because anything that's heavy or very conditioning or too rich, my hair just gets weighed down. It looks really fine, it doesn't look nice, and it gets really oily the next day. I absolutely love Tangle Teasers. It's my favourite way of brushing my hair and I always have one in my handbag. They're just brilliant and when you're trying to brush through wet hair, I think it's the safest way of detangling without damaging. I always blow dry my hair with one of these. I don't even know what make this is, but I buy them from Boots or any like chemist. Um, they're really inexpensive and they're like flattening vent brushes. I don't know what else to call them. I'm sure hairdressers have probably got a proper name for them. And you can kind of smooth your hair out. So I kind of, I'm not very good at blow drying, but I kind of pull along and I'll put that, the heat through here, through the vents, and then just go all the way down a few times. And it kind of, it doesn't straighten it too much so it looks, I don't look good with really straight hair, but it smooths out the kind of craziness because it can get really underneath quite curly and a bit frizzy and it just for me, it really smooths it out. So I always have one of these with me, especially if I'm going away. I like to do my hair with that. I've always used, um, since they launched, the Wham Hair Hair Dryer. Really expensive, but this must be six years old now. It's never broken down. It's fantastic. It dries your hair really quickly. It doesn't make my hair frizzy. Um, for hairdressers, it's great because it can um, you can close it like this and hairdressers can use it apparently that's good for hairdressers I don't know I'm not a hairdresser um, but for me I just love it as a regular every day um, every time I wash my hair I always dry my hair with this and it was the best investment I ever made because every time of the hair hair dryer I've had they normally last a year or two and then they kind of overheat and blow up and that one is is perfect six years later uh, I also have same thing and these are the Andrew Barton hair tongs which are fantastic and these were very cheap I think they were 15 pounds 
And again, I've had them for about five or six years and they are brilliant at just doing these sort of curls around the face and just so easy to use and, and, and fantastic. Sometimes I use rollers. Occasionally I will use the um, Cloud9 ones and I like these because they don't really give curl but they give body and they smooth out. I use them more for smoothing out my hair. So the areas that where it can get quite frizzy or quite curly on top, I'll use the large ones and it just gives more of a sort of wave with a bit of body in. And I have a set of old school um, ones as well which I don't really use unless I'm going out at night and I want a really sort of fabulous like 70s do and then I just put these all over my head again I'm not very good at knowing where to put them but they just seem to work out and then just kind of run my fingers through it and these are the Charles Worthington ones and I think I've had these for about 12 years 12 13 years and um, they're quite easy to use and you just put them through and then clip um, use a sort of clamp and hold them in place and that's pretty much it I very rarely change my hair <laughs> you've probably noticed I don't um, yeah I found the shampoo that I like so I very rarely change shampoo don't really change conditioner since I found the Moroccan oil I've really stuck to that I haven't changed any of these styling tools for about 10 years and um, same with the the um, everyday sort of conditioner smoothing cream so I hope that was helpful I hope it was useful and for all of those who asked for it asked for it I hope it was interesting so I'll see you soon